Gonna haul a little dirt today. Had to jump it off. Batteries got low. So I got her going. Now. I've been doing a little hauling out there in Sweetwater, but uh, I got done with that. Now we need some dirt hauled on the fields out here at the farm. We've been doing that for the past probably month and put some dirt over rocks and some ditches and all that kind of good stuff. But today, uh, I'm gonna pour some over some ditches and some holes in the field and uh we've been putting in the barn i think we're gonna be selling some soon some topsoil so uh i brought a few loads in the barn the other day looks like some of the dirt fell out at least still got some stuck up there i need to get up there with the shovel and get that out but i ain't got time right now i need to get this done so I'm gonna head over here to the Trico and uh, load some dirt up and take it to the field. Putting the bed down here. Uh, I'll let it build some air up more and uh, let it warm up. I'll take her down the road here and uh, try to get this dirt. It's a little wet. I hope I don't get stuck. So uh, I think I'll be alright though. I've been in a little better conditions and been all right so i think we'll be good so i'm heading to the field real quick and get y'all quick with that gotta make sure this dang tailgate latches here oh yeah she latched sometimes i've been having trouble with it latching getting dirt up between it so uh there was an arm, that little arm up there that catches it, it was a little bent when we got it. So we had to straighten it out. It went sitting on there right every now and then. But I like this truck. It has a Detroit in it. Uh, we just got it just, uh, I'd say about a month ago. It runs really good, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna take it down here and try to Get some dirt. She's built up with air, so I'm ready to go here. big help for us so far uh, I know they don't them tracks don't really like the mud I've learned that but other than that I suck real cool so we put it pretty deep too we put the shanks pretty dang deep in the ground Got her backed in here at the dirt pile. The truck goes here. We got some new teeth on it now, so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go up on the pile or what. I'll see here what I think. Uh, the pile's starting to get skinny, so I don't really like being on top of it, but we might try her out here. Got the new teeth put on here. Uh, heck, why'd they leave this land there? I'm just gonna hit that. Better pick that up here in a minute, but. Let me get this Trico warmed up. It's pretty cold out right now, so. Uh, let me 
get it going. Oh yeah, let her sit here and warm and I'll pick this up, and get on that paw and get her loaded here. I'm gonna drive up on this paw here, load her up. Stop, side starting to cave, that's the only thing that worries me. But I think we'll be all right as long as I stay up here on the left hand side here. Alrighty, we're up here. I always make sure my butt end don't, I ain't gonna hit the truck and it's not, it's gonna clear, so. Sit here and load her up and get some dirt in the field here. Got a pretty good size load on it, as much as I want to put on it there without any falling off. But park this thing right here and I'll take her to the field, guys. out here I usually do it going down the road but I always make sure there ain't no dirt in it just in case yeah she's good once you get that mud between it you ain't gonna get that thing shut so let's head back down the road and get another load baby Got another load. I might put one more small scoop on the back there, but uh, I'm gonna take this to the field. I think this is gonna be repetitive today, so I'm not gonna video and video all this and do it over and over again. I wanna let y'all watch something fun, so if I get into anything else, I'll let y'all watch it. I have a clip of unloading this 850K. Uh, I'll show you that here in a second. Very nice. Uh, they put GPS's on them. We ain't got it on there. I don't know if we need it for the farm, really, but it's really nice to just have it around and clean up stuff a lot faster. We've been pushing up a lot of piles of dirt with it that we've been hauling. 
that I've been hauling. I've been like them dirt piles up there, uh, filling in ditches, and it's been very useful. Uh, but what I've been doing here today, guys, is just getting all the roots out of here because we don't need that. I mean, be sucked up in the combine or something like that, or tearing up something, planter, who knows. So I'm putting the roots and all that in this bucket, and getting it cleaned up. Hopefully, we can get everything clean here. Well, I'm loading some lime today, guys. I just loaded them up. Uh, we're gonna do all these fields right here, and there's a field down the road he's gotta do, and um, everything's going good on this. No trouble today, so let's just hope it keeps going good here. I'm just about finished the pile, but here comes another truck load of some lime, guys. I'm back them in here get some more so I can finish these fields up. Been working some ground, finishing up, moving some dirt here, or moving the pivot through here. Moved a lot of dirt over here in the past couple days. But like I was saying, uh, we've been moving a lot of dirt here, but uh, here's the dirt that we covered them rocks up with. We cut a bunch of them trees down. You could watch that in one of my last videos, but uh, we cover a lot of ground today, working some ground. Uh, not driving the quad track today. We're driving the old E335. And I'm waiting on him, and I'm probably going to go over with this thing here. Get it ripped up and worked up here. 